Hello everyone, this is uh, Nitin Nair with a brand new episode of the Starbury blog where we talk to estate agents and discuss their digital transformation journey. On today's episode, we have the wonderful Steve Walker from Collinson Hall, an independent estate agent based out of St. Albans and Hertfordshire joining us. Steve has been a client of ours for almost three years now, right Steve? Uh, yep, yep. Yeah. Just about. And we've been on this whole journey with him that started with a new website and has now progressed on to uh, digital marketing, content creation, and a lot of other elements. A big welcome to you, Steve. Thank you, Nathan. So uh, my first question to you is, uh, you've been around since 1825. I mean, not you per se. I mean, Collinson Hall, the brand, has been around since 1825. And surely everyone knew of the brand in your area. But then what made you decide that you needed to undertake this digital transformation? Um, I think this was 2019 where we really uh, were looking very carefully at how other people saw us. And as you say, we were uh, been around as business since 1825. And um, along with that can come a presumption from people that we might be a little bit staid in our approach and very traditional. I mean, as, as a business, we um, operate in numerous areas. So it's not just residential sales or residential lettings. We also do commercial and block management. Um, so we were a little bit concerned that from for other people looking into the business, they they may actually think that, you know, oh, this is an old company. They're a bit stuck in their ways and that um, hadn't really got to grips with uh, modern technology. And I think our website at the time uh, was not helping us at all. I mean, it had been redone maybe four years before, um, but it was essentially a static site. Um, it didn't move in the way that we were seeing a lot of sites moving. Um, and crucially, it didn't allow us to run any video on it at all. And we could see in 2019 that video was becoming at that time um, quite important. Uh, it was to become a lot more important um, down the line, mm -hmm. as, as we, we know. Um, but at the time, that, there, that was an element that we wanted to do uh, to include as well. So we, we knew that we needed to undertake an overhaul. And I was trying to strike the right balance with the way that we portrayed ourselves as a professional company, but with also using um, as many of the, the modern tools as we could. Yeah, and I remember during the first lockdown, you were among the first of our clients to actually integrate with Calendly and Zoom on your website to do mm -hmm. virtual, uh, you know, valuations or virtual pre-valuation calls. Yeah, so yeah. how important is your website for driving new instructions when now and when compared to before? A absolutely critical. I mean, the, the timing of the website development was fortuitous because we, we started talking in 2019 and the project got underway, I think, around Christmas uh, of 2019, which, of course, was as COVID was emerging. And as we saw um, some of the requirements um, coming onto the horizon, we were able to include those into the development of the new website. Um, and like you say, with, with Zoom, which nobody had really heard of back in 2019, and Calendly, likewise, um, these were things that we were able to integrate at development stage and were, were really important. But I think, you know, at the time, um, we were heavily reliant on traditional media, newspapers and the like. And although we could see that being on the wane, we, we really didn't understand um, quite how important the digital marketing would become. And certainly I came to realize that it was naive to think that anybody, any client would be instructing us without having checked out our website. Mm -hmm. And people will gain, will gain a lot of uh, information from the website and, and form an impression of that business very, very quickly. And if you're not um, making that right impression straight away, you could lose them as a potential client. Um, mm -hmm. And this was something that we really focused on. And uh, do you say that your website now does most of the heavy lifting in terms of capturing the leads when you compare it to the portals or to any other source? Um, certainly in terms 
I mean, we're all chasing valuation leads. I mean, that's all, all the future future uh, business. And it's not just valuations on the sales side, it's the other areas of the business yeah. as well, like I mentioned. So yes, does it do most of the heavy lifting? Uh, yes, it does. Um, mm. I mean, the, the, the portals have their place in, in what we do, but um, we're not certainly not reliant on those in, in any way. Um, and we try and cover all of the uh, the boundaries on this. And yeah, it's I'm, I'm very pleased that we do drive as much business through our own activities as we do. Yeah, and we've seen that, you know, through uh, the reports that we've been uh, going through every month. And I take a particular interest in, you know, looking at the reports from all our clients. And you're one of our top performing clients on digital marketing. And, you know, I understand that it's not only, uh, you know, the regular kind of digital marketing in terms of SEO, content creation, you know, social media that you do, you've also embraced online ads and moving out from, you know, the traditional newspaper ads that you mentioned. So mm. I believe that you do a lot of online ads as well. So this whole process of, you know, replacing traditional methods slowly with, you know, modern uh, methods that actually give you tracking, how has that helped you or what made you decide to slowly make that transition onto the digital side? Um, I suppose it was really trying to think through how um, people were behaving. Hmm. Um, and as the newspapers uh, were, were shrinking, both in size and distribution areas, um, it came clear that we needed to be making our presence known um, by other means. Hmm. And you could see everywhere that people were now uh, with their digital devices for a lot of the day and mm. if we were wanting to capture people's attention then that's that's where we needed to be and you know as far as capturing new leads um by the time they've people are registered with the portals that's that's almost too late it's um you know that they, they've already made certain decisions about the moving sure. process by the time they're actually registering on there not everybody but you know a good, good number in my view um so we wanted to be putting ourselves out into areas where um, their people would see us, come across us, we capture their imagination perhaps, and you know, dangle a few hooks with a bit of bait on there. So <laughs> hope you get people to take that next step and say, hey, yeah, you know, come around and let, let's have a chat. Yeah, and has this uh, you know this movement to the digital marketing side of things has it made life easier for you in terms of really measuring? whether your, a certain campaign has been a success or whether, you know, you're actually getting returns for what you're investing in? Oh, of course, yes. I mean, we, with the traditional media, um, you never had any feedback as to uh, mm -hmm. just how, uh, how successful it was. Um, whereas now um, we've got a, a very good understanding of, of views, clicks, how long people have watching the videos you can tell when you're making an engaging video by how long people are actually watching it for um all those sorts of, of metrics we've we've become very familiar with and we can understand without being um dazzled by the numbers because the numbers are huge um but it it does give you a really good sense of um how what you're putting together is being received by people who are watching it yeah, and talking about videos now, you do a lot of videos, podcasts, and create a lot of content in general. Now, I particularly love the market updates that you do every week. You mm -hmm. have like a market update for the letting side every other week, and I'm oh, sorry, for the letting side once a month, and for sales every other week. And frankly, you know, the digital marketing manager who handles your project, he yeah. told me that you average almost 5,000 views on these videos on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's brilliant. That's a brilliant number, you know, across the board. And how, uh, like, did you decide that this is the kind of videos that we want to do? This is actually going to impart value. And did you foresee getting so much of popularity and engagement on the social media platforms? Um, no, I, I, well, to, to answer it backwards, no, I had no idea that it was going to be so popular. In fact, I've challenged Franklin on exactly this point and said, are people actually really watching this or have we got... Yeah, uh, and I actually, they, checked, I actually checked the stats. Hit. Yeah, do they just tick through? But no, yeah. he said no. These are uh, these are genuinely people who who sure, are there's close watching. to twelve to fifteen percent of people of the five thousand actually watch the video till the end, yeah. which is amazing. Like you know, your videos are like six minutes long, approximately five yeah, to six. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, we, yeah. 
they're spending those six minutes watching your video from end to end. And that's yeah. amazing numbers. No, it is. And, you know, we're, we're, we're really pleased. Um, I think this, this sort of came about when we were having our original discussions about the approach to the website. And we were talking about um, the content that we needed to put onto the website. And as, as much as um, we could ask you guys to um, be doing a lot of the, the, the work in making it look good, um, we realised that we actually need to bite the bullet and do this. Mm. And we had to get through that embarrassment of seeing yourselves um, on screen and hearing yourself on screen and tripping up and making mistakes and all the rest of it, which nobody, well, I don't know anybody who really likes watching <laughs> themselves back on, on a video. Um, trust, trust me, I don't know. I don't watch, like watching myself. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we we started to realise that, that um, some of these videos were getting referenced in, in our meetings that we were having with, with people. Mm. And, you know, we thought, well, yeah, this is hopefully useful information for people in our area. Um, they'll actually get something valuable from it. Um, and, yeah, we've worked hard at finding a streamlined way of doing it. So, you know, it's it's not something that takes too much time. We've, we've put the tools together to make it work. And, um, yeah, it's, it's something that the, the guys here are used, used to doing. Uh, you know, a little birdie told me that, you're looking for an alternative career change. I mean, you're actually becoming a really good voiceover artist because you voice do all the man. voiceovers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How I mean, you know, I actually saw the latest video, your promo video that you put out. Yeah. And the moment I saw it, I'm like, this sounds very familiar. And that's when, you know, I got to know that it's you. I mean, yeah, yeah. are you enjoying the whole process now for videos? Oh, that was hilarious. Um, the, first, the first shot at it, I was told I was boring. <laughs> 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 so thank you for, for whoever it was that gave me uh, honest feedback but in truth you know this this is part of the learning curve that you go through because I, I had a script written out and I was trying to get through it without making any blunders and fluffs at all in there um, which is complete nonsense um, you know because actually you need to if you're trying to get through it um, in, in one go you rush it so it all becomes very, very quick and you lose any sense of what it actually is you're trying to say. You're just reading a script. And um, yeah, Franklin, um, I, well, I pleaded for help and Franklin came up with a couple of videos um, that well, actually were good, good, gave me some good pointers on, on what to do and, you know, slow it all right down. And if you make any mistakes, just say, I'll do it again. <laughs> and um, which you know, you've done some video editing, I'm sure, you know, you can see the audio track, you can see the gap, if you leave a, a bit of silence, makes it very easy for people to edit. So yeah, the, the, the voiceovers are full of mistakes. But <laughs> if you if you actually leave, leave enough space in there, then people can edit it down. It sounds perfect. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, you as an agent are exploring so many things, deciding that you need to be doing a lot of the stuff and not just leaving it to some agency, which we've been advocating all the while. Do you think that the real estate industry in general has been more receptive to doing more on digital marketing or trying out new things recently? Oh, definitely. We've, we've seen some amazing uh, videos that, you know, our, our competitors have done. Um, some of them are just extraordinarily high production values. Um, and I think, you know, you can see that um, that people are trying everything. We're, what we're currently doing, I mean, we, we have professional videographers who go out and do the homes, but not to the sort of level that some of these ones that, that we're seeing um, are, are done. This, this is sort of central, central London and, you know, sort of multi-million pound properties. That you think, you know, you take inspiration from those and you think, oh, wouldn't it be great if there's elements of that that we could actually do? So, um, no, I, I can see, I think we're in a business where we're all trying to find um, a difference in why people would want to use us rather than our competitors. And digital marketing is an arena that gives us the opportunity of actually showing who we are and um, a little bit more about the personality rather than just writing or saying to a video hey you know we're, we're friendly professional people who you know give you great advice you know and hopefully if we're actually giving great advice in these videos and people understand that then um they'll, they'll take away from that yeah this is this is who we want to be working with
Absolutely. And it's all about bringing that personality out and, you know, showing it rather than, you know, writing or saying it explicitly that actually helps at the end of the day. So uh, in your experience, Steve, what has been the single most impressive part of the whole transformation that you've gone through? Something that maybe you never envisioned that would happen and has really helped the business and you're really thankful for. That's a very interesting question. Um, I think what has perhaps been the most startling um, revelation for me really is how we we have a single office in St Albans like I say we cover multiple disciplines mm -hmm. but all of a sudden we're able to punch well above our weight in the sense of what we're what we're doing right now um, and we we're able to take on companies who previously would have had enormous buying power in traditional media mm. um, and would have just been overwhelming in the sense of the, the marketing that they could throw um, at the public locally. And we can actually take the fight to them completely. Um, and, and in many areas, I'd say we can actually beat them um, in, with what we're doing. You know, we, we are experts in our, in our area. And we can say that on our videos. It's very difficult for somebody who's got multiple offices over an area to convince people that they're experts in each of those different areas. So it's been, yeah, I'd say that more than any, any one thing is, is that it's given us the ability to uh, really punch above our weight and you know, with, without compromising anything that we're doing. Everything, it's all very real. Um, and these are the real people, you know, the... John and Ron doing the, the valuation uh, mm -hmm. chats and Daniela and you know these are Philippa these are all people who work here day in day out and it's great to see them and introduce them to people who are looked at the websites and um, are checking in on on our LinkedIn mm -hmm. feeds and our Facebook feeds and all the rest of it so yeah it's been it's been quite an eye-opener I think it wasn't what we were expecting but obviously delighted the way it's gone. Great so thank you very much Steve for your input I know, you know, we are, I always love speaking to you. I've always jump on the call whenever I get a chance. And finally, I get a chance to really talk to you one on one and see how this whole journey and the relationship that we share at Starbury and Collinson Hall, how it has really helped you bring this together. So thank you very much uh, once again for being on the show and also for, you know, being a wonderful client of us. Uh, you know, we always speak, give examples of Collinson Hall and share. And you're always happy to, you know, uh, give a reference when required so we really appreciate this and thank you for sharing your journey uh thank you very much steve no it's a pleasure Nathan. good to speak to you yeah see you then cheers <laughs>